I'm Thaddeus Smith, executive chef at Sterno Candlelamp. Today we're going to talk about setting up a chafing dish for a buffet. It's simple and it's easy if you follow these tips. There are a lot of different chafing dishes on the market, but they all function basically the same. So we're going to go through a chafing dish that many people have and the different elements. But remember, this applies to most chafing dishes on the market today. Let's start with the rack. This is where all the elements of the chafing dish will come together. So you have a nice hot buffet service for your guests. There are fuel holders here. This is our water pan. We're going to put between three quarters and an inch and a half of very hot water to start into this pan because we don't want the, the fuel being used up to heat the water. The water is already going to be hot and the fuel is going to keep it warm. We have our food pans. Remember, we're not cooking food. We're keeping food warm, so we want to put hot food into these pans. That's food that's above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the fuel, very important to the success of any buffet. This is Sterno Safe Heat. This is a four-hour product. The nice thing about this product is the can stays cool throughout the entire burn cycle. This is a terrific product, burns for four hours. We also have a stick lighter, very important to light the fuel. This is our stainless steel pitcher. You want to use stainless steel because you're going to be using hot water that you pour into your water pan. This is our fuel holder. The fuel is going to go right in here. You can either regulate the amount of heat that's coming out or you can extinguish it very easily. And those are going to go right into here. So let's set up our buffet. For safety's sake, you always want to make sure that your chafing rack is set up where you're going to be doing your service. You don't want to be transporting things back and forth from the kitchen. Have it set up where you're going to want to serve. That's the safest way to do it. First thing we're going to do is take the chafing holders, put them in place. Next step, my favorite step, it's the Sterno 4-Hour Safe Heat Fuel. Remember Wick product. This can, though produces a great deal of heat, stays cool throughout the burn cycle. We'll place these in the fuel holders. Now we're ready to go. The fuel is in place. Now it's time for the water pan. The water pan goes in here. Now, I'm not carrying hot water from the kitchen. In this pan, I'm putting the pan in place here. Now we're going to take the hot water. This is very hot between three quarters and an inch and a half. Next step is to light the fuel. Now you see the fuel is in place. I'm lighting it after it's in place. The water is in the water pan. And now we're going to put the hot food into the water pan. Our vegetables today are roasted peppers. Remember, these are coming out of the kitchen hot. This pan is hot above 140 degrees. We are not cooking food. We're warming it in our chafing dishes. Our protein, roast chicken. Now, water pan is hot. The fuel is going. The food is in place. Your guests will be arriving in 10, 15, 20 minutes. Place the lid on and you're ready to roll. When service starts, you can simply put the lid over here, place your serving utensils in, and you can let the party begin. When service is ended, simply put the lid back on the food pans and extinguish the fuel. Now you're ready to tear down and get cleaned up and get home. Let's review very quickly. Remember, you want to have all your elements ready to go before you start service. You want to make sure that your chafing dish frame is where you're going to be serving so you don't have to keep going back and forth from the kitchen. Start with hot water in the water pan. Remember, we're not cooking food, we're warming food. So that hot water will go a long way in keeping our food in the safe zone, which remember is above 140 degrees. Hot food hot, cold food cold for food safety. Also, you want to make sure you're using the proper chafing fuel. We recommend our four hour safe heat. Very safe, can stay as cool throughout the burn cycle, keeps food well above 140 degrees. For more information about all of our products, as well as some great safety tips, visit Sterno Candlelamp University. We'll see you again soon.